Well, this is where we're at. Bombs are going to be going on to the sides of the ship. Um, so, we're going to post him here. Yeah, this is an update. Uh, I finally got the tower attached. Um, there's gonna, there's a guy that's going to be going up here in the turret. It's going to be cool. Um, still need to do some work on the turret. I'm just assembling everything right now. The rest of the stuff can be done after the assembly is complete and it's on the base. Um, but uh, we're going to be putting on the bombs. But first, I need to do something important with these bombs. And what that is, is um, a little bit of shading needs to be done. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So that you can see what's going to be going down. And um, what's going to be happening here is I'm going to be putting on some clear. So what I have is Humbrol clear. This is what I like to use. I found this to be effective uh, clear coat. It's been working great. What I like to do is use a stick here. I found this works pretty great. And you don't need much. We're, we're just doing a couple bombs. So. Yep, that's probably efficient. All right. Humbral clear. Let's see what the airbrush is looking like. Yep, it's spraying it pretty well. Oop, I don't want to knock over my, my deal there. So, what I'm going to do is grab my little trusty tweezers. I'm going to go in here. Grab them. And we're going to clear coat these. Done. 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 Let me get this grenade a little better. I like that grenade because it's got that nice green on there. It really breaks up all the... Uh, all the purples and brass and silver. See how this um, humbral part of the reason why I like. I'm gonna do another coat. I'm gonna still want to. You can't really get too much on here because. Um, let me just spray here on the top like that. You can't really. Um, go wrong. with the humbrol. Um, because um, it just sprays so beautifully, you can see. 
Uh, what I do like to use is this. It's the airbrush cleaner by Vallejo. Got some of that. Or this actually works really well too. Um, airbrush cleaner by um, Medea, I guess you could say. Iwata, Japanese brand. And I'll just go ahead and clean on my airbrush real quick. That clear coat stuff does seem to um, fuck up the airbrush pretty good if you don't get it out of there right away. That stuff is pretty heavy duty. Um, it fucks up my airbrush. It'll, it'll get it gets it all gummed up, and I don't want to get it all gummed up. But so the reason I'm clear coating these pieces is because. Um, is because uh, I'm gonna put a wash on here with some, sh so I can get some shadows in here. If you don't have one of these cups, you gotta get one of these cups. It just allows you to clean your airbrush without spraying it into the air. It has a filter on it, and it's got a pot. Um. No, so. Uh, what, what was I saying? I got to put a, a clear coat on here because the important part about when you do washes is you want the wash to flow into the recessed areas of the, of the piece. Um, if you don't have something clear on there and you have a matte finish, what's going to happen is it's going to soak into the matte finish and you don't want that. You don't want the wash to soak in. You want it to flow into the recessed areas. So when you clear coat it, that allows the wash to go into the recesses instead of staining your paint job. So like for example, this grenade that's a nice green color, right? I don't want to screw that green color up and have the wash dye the paint. So you spray it with a clear coat so that the stuff will flow into the recessed areas and then we're going to get a nice shadow effect in between the the, 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 the pineapples on the grenade um, instead of it actually staining the surface of the pineapple it's going to flow into the recesses of the pineapple so that's going to be great so we're just going to let this dry for a little bit and then we'll uh, come back with you in a minute 